When the NBA schedule was released, I was concerned with February. When I predicted every single Lakers regular season game, February was the worst month. I had the Lakers going 3-6, and six, the only month I predicted a sub-500 record. And now you look at this team and the entire team to the sub-500 record to start February. With all the injuries, roster construction issues, and lineup decisions, is February still set up to be the worst month of the Lakers season? Or is the month not as competitive as it appeared to be at the start of the season? Let's get into it. February is still going to be a difficult month for the Lakers. And with LeBron missing at least the Blazers game, maybe more, this month could get ugly regardless of the opponent. But the schedule isn't as demanding as it once appeared. New Orleans hasn't taken a step forward with Zion missing all season, and the Clippers are dealing with serious injuries to their two superstars, making them a sub-500 team. February will still be brutal despite these teams underperforming from their preseason projections. The Lakers have games against the Bucks, Warriors, and Jazz. These teams are a combined 101-55 on the season. Winning these games will be difficult, and being that the Lakers are 24-27, and having a losing record in this month will likely take them out of the playoff picture by the end of February with just 22 games left in the season. It may sound dramatic, but given the Lakers' record and the difficulty of opponents this month, these games are now must-win for the purple and gold. They can no longer afford to lose any more games. They'll have to figure out how to play without LeBron for at least another game, beat the subpar teams in the West, and pull off a few surprising victories against the best in the West. If they fail to win at least four games of the nine games in February, they may dig themselves into a hole that is impossible to get out of. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed watching, please make sure you like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Go Lakers.